The Emperor's New Clothes Long ago, there lived an emperor who loved new clothes. He had clothes for the morning, he had different clothes for the afternoon, and he had special clothes for the evening. One day, two wicked men came to the town. We make cloth said one man. Yes, we are weavers, said the other man. We can make very special cloth, said both men together. The emperor was very pleased. He wanted some new cloth to make a special new suit of clothes. Tell me about your special cloth, said the emperor. The weavers told the emperor that their cloth was so special that anyone who couldn't see it must be very stupid. The emperor was even more pleased. The weavers wanted to start work. We need gold thread, they said. The emperor gave them lots and lots of gold thread to make their special cloth. But the wicked weavers stole the gold thread. They hid it in their bags. Then they pretended to make the special cloth. The weavers worked very hard. The loom which makes cloth went backwards and forwards. Click, clack, click, clack, it went. One night, the emperor wanted to know if the gold cloth was ready. He sent his prime minister to have a look. Come and tell me if the cloth is beautiful, ordered the emperor. The prime minister went to see the weavers. They were working very hard. Click, clack, click, clack, went the loom. The prime minister looked and looked. Oh dear, he thought, I can't see anything, but I am not stupid. So he said to the weavers, it's beautiful cloth, I'll tell the emperor. When he, ha when he had gone, the weavers laughed and laughed. Then they said, we need some more gold threads to make this special cloth. The emperor let them have lots more gold thread. The wicked weavers stole the thread and hid it in their bags. Then they worked harder than ever. Click, clack, click, clack, click, click, went the loom. The Prime Minister told the Emperor that the cloth was very beautiful. Soon, everyone was talking about the Emperor's new suit. The next night, the Emperor wanted someone else to look at the cloth for his new suit. This time, he sent the Captain of the Guard. Come and tell me if it is finished ordered the emperor. The captain went to see the weavers. They were still working very hard. Click, clack, click, clack, click, went the loom. The captain looked and looked. Oh dear, he thought, but I can't see anything. But the prime minister could see the cloth and I am not stupid. The captain told the weavers, it's beautiful cloth. The emperor will be pleased. I'll tell him.
when he had gone, the weavers laughed and laughed. Then they worked faster and faster. Soon the weavers said that the special cloth was made. Now they pretended to cut the cloth into pieces. They began to sew the pieces together to make the emperor's new suit of clothes. The next day the weavers said, Please can the emperor come and try on his new suit? Then we can finish the sewing. The emperor was very pleased. He went to see the weavers. Oh dear, I can't see the cloth, said the emperor to himself. The prime minister and the captain of the guard could see it. I am not stupid. So the emperor said, this is beautiful cloth. These will be my very best clothes. Now it was time to try on his suit. The weavers made the emperor take off his clothes. Then he had to stand still. The weavers made sure that the new suit would fit the emperor. He felt cold, but he said, this will be a beautiful suit of clothes. The cloth is so light that I can hardly feel it. When the emperor had gone, the weavers laughed and laughed. They said they must sew faster and faster so that the new clothes would be finished. Everyone in the land had heard about the new suit. In two days, there was going to be a parade in the town. The emperor was going to wear his new clothes in the parade. Everyone would be there to see him. At the end of the next day, the weavers said that the new suit of clothes was finished. Everyone went to look. The prime minister said, it's a wonderful new suit. And the captain of the guard said, I have never seen such beautiful clothes. Then came the day of the parade. The weavers helped the emperor to dress. They made sure his suit was just right and then they put his crown on his head. Your majesty, you look wonderful, said the weavers. And the emperor gave the weavers two big bags of gold. The emperor was very, very pleased with his new clothes. All the people will look at me, he said to himself. He went out to join the parade. The people of the town had hung flags from their houses. They stood at the sides of the roads waiting for the emperor to pass by. Then the parade started and all the people began to shout and wave. Everyone had heard about the special cloth. They had been told that only stupid people could not see it. The emperor's new clothes are beautiful, said one man. Doesn't he look wonderful, said an old woman. This is a very special suit, said another man. Yes, yes, shouted all the people. The emperor was very happy. These are the best clothes I've ever had, he said. He laughed and waved to all the people and they waved back at him. The parade was nearly finished. The emperor thought it had been the best day in his life. Then suddenly a little boy pointed at the emperor. The boy began to laugh. The emperor has nothing on, he shouted. And all the people began to laugh too. 
The emperor knew that he had been tricked. I am very stupid, he thought. His face went very, very red. Of course, the weavers had gone. The end.